yeah. So this is a construct of chaos and corruption. Okay. It is a nifty little thing, being able to uh, press ZL and just target on the nearest enemy, like Zelda. That was pretty cool. I don't know all the combos yet. So yeah, that's... Fight it, I like very much games with voice acting. This can't be beaten with a blade. Seek out the Forge sister. Ask her about the fire of the mountain. Help her, and she will help you. The fire of the mountain? As for me, I must return to my work. Who are you? And who are you to command a rider? I am a maker. Older than even the Charred Council, these hands have laid the foundations for many worlds. But that was long ago, and now they but hardly know the touch of stone. Are you not curious as to why I seek the dream? <laughs> I would not presume to question one of the four, but yes. That's good. Tell me. I must restore humanity to redeem war. Heaven and hell battle upon the shattered earth. All creation trembles, and at the center of it all stands your brother. He is innocent. I never said he wasn't. The tree holds power over life and death. If you would resurrect humanity, then you are headed in the right direction. Be warned. A dark presence dwells now within the tree. And the path is barred by corruption. Okay. Got it. Right, so. The texture quality is pretty good. Until you look really close up. But that's the same even on PC. Hey, Slinky. That's the same even on PC. Look, if you... Ooh, a skill point. If you were to look at the textures... Oh, I have to do this now. Uh, I can be a necromancer or a harbinger. What do all these abilities do? Ghouls or teleport slash. Uh, damage, damage. I think I'm going to go for ghouls. I'm going to go for ghouls. Yeah. I can press down on the gamepad. And I can click it to use those skills. So I've got these ghouls. And they live for a bit and then they die. So what... I can drag it anywhere down the bar. I can also put it onto a skill button. Ah, okay, so what I do is, I move it onto the bar, like X, A, Y, or B. And what happens is, I hold, that changes it to hold L and press that button. So now if I hold L and press Y, once I've got more wrath, I can actually summon the ghouls with L and Y like a little hotkey, like it was on PC, so that's good. So I don't have to keep clicking it all the time. So now if I go, I can check my map, as I figure it out. Oh, well, here we go. Press uh, select. Press the uh, select. Uh, get a good... Uh, so there's a chest there we can't open. And this is the map where we've got to go. I forgot, we can summon the horse. I have to go alone. Oh. What do you mean there's no horse here? The bullshit. The chest has troubled me. I've gotta I've gotta check if I can open it or not. I have to.
I mean, I thought I couldn't, but it looks like I might be able to. So I'm worth it. I'm glad I checked. Boom. Oh, new scythe. Nice, nice, nice. Well worth my trouble then. So my primary attack is now more powerful. And they're blue. Blue's a pretty good killer. I prefer red, but blue's pretty good. This is no place for a horse. This is no place for a horse. He also sounds much less girly than Link. Where Link would be like, Sit, 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 yeah! He's like, this is no place for a horse. The horse cannot be here. We must go alone. He's so badass. Hey, my name is Nicholas, Nicholas, and this is deliciousness. Right. Let's go through this tree like you do. Hello. Ooh. Try stone. R. What? Hmm. The Reaper. It's about time you came. The Makers are dying, and our realm. We few are all that remain. A warrior's life is never easy, old one. Aye, not easy, but simple. Mm. I always saw my end with blade in hand, a field of enemy dead before me. And what glorious end awaits you hiding behind these gates? Uh, you cannot fight corruption, nor can you harm it. You can only kill those it has claimed. That makes Every sense. Every blow I strike against corruption is a blow against my own people. Muse on that, Ryder, before you mark me as a coward. Uh, so I can buy weapon. I can buy skills if I had the money, but I can buy this one for free. So I'm going to buy this one for free. Yeah. Why wouldn't I? That'd be silliness. This thing showed you a new move, Harvest of Revenge. To help you on your journey, you can purchase additional moves by selecting his chain option. Use Harvest of Revenge by pressing R, Forward, Evade, and Y. Select moves list in the inventory to review combat moves. Okay. That X. This is what, that's what it is. This is this. Eh. So if I dodge forward... I can use my scythe as a swinging weapon, and it doesn't even cost magic. In fact, attacking these things only gets me magic. Cool. Okay, so, or Vath, sorry. I'd always wanted to fight a maker. I can end your trouble. Well, you're welcome to try. This blade is more ancient than you, Ryder. And taller to boot. I will break it, and you, down to size. Yeah, I would like to fight you. <laughs> That's not good. What are you do- Oh, ghouls! The ghouls thought this would be a good thing to do. To smack this. So my ghouls are idiots. And you can see on the gamepad that I have the... I mean on the screen, sorry, you can see that the uh, ghouls, which is the little coffin icon, is in Y. So you know I can see myself what buttons I need to press to do things. So I got owned. But I feel like he's probably end gamey because he sells you all your skills. So if you could kill him straight away, that wouldn't really make sense. Tome locations? Tomes? Oh, there's a tome. I'll do it. For you, game. See, I've already been playing for half an hour and it doesn't feel like it, so that's how I know a game's good. If I've been playing for half an hour, it doesn't even feel like that long at all. Learn me some things.
So I've got loads of free shit, basically. The Charge Council demanded that the first Smiths of Heaven craft a weapon for the four horsemen as tribute to the Riders' role in maintaining the balance. The Angel of Death double scythes were forged the power of light, healing the wielder with every strike made against his enemies. The Charge Council Okay. The Angel of Death chest guard protects the Raider by increasing his ability to regenerate health and wrath energy. The Angel of Death boots protect the wearer by increasing his ability to regenerate health and wrath, so they're all just going to increase my ability to heal. Cool. Cool. It forged in the darkest vaults of hell by Demon Master Smith's Shadow of Death double sword saps the arcane energy from those its jagged edges touch, piercing them with the icy chill of the grave. Enhancing their ability and potency of wrath for all of this stuff. I'm not doing this, by the way. The game's decided that it needs to tell me about every single one. But I guess they're special. Mortis is a buckler that combines attack and defense into one brutal weapon. Since ancient times, Mortis has defended its wielder by responding to any attack with a surge of lethal energy that unerringly seeks out and punishes the opponent. Brought into countless battles by a once great demon lord, the face of the axe displays the torment of those it has slain, said to console the souls of its victims and writhe them in eternal agony. Ruzanov's axe. Vandersmash. Formed from materials of realms beyond, brought to one in the name of dark magic, pulsing with an eerie presence of vestigial anguish, this hammer is feared not only for its power but for its ties to a shadowed cult. The hammer of a champion from long ago, his power echoed through the ring of its dark steel, cast during the ascension of his dark arts. The tale, the tale is said to, that its champion took the form of a crow, never to be seen again. A weapon of incredible power forgotten to the Aeons, formerly brandished by an ancient lich warlord whose reign of conquest faded into dust. Locked deep in the tombs below the dead plains, thought never to resurface. The only remnant of his tale is inscribed in runes on the weapon's blade. Crafted for the champion that would rise against corruption, Maker Artisan Smiths forged this masterwork armour as the shield to he who would protect all of creation. Just gonna get rid of all these quickly. The Maker Scythes, I didn't read them, sorry. Okay. So I've got, like, everything to equip. I can't equip these because they are too high level for me, which is an issue. Hammers, all too high weapon for me, and I need to be level 5 to equip all this shit. Okay, I'll be hardcore lurking but you're still listening. Okay, people tend to hardcore lurk these days, I must not be interesting enough to talk to. Right, where is the... Hello. Maker's beard. The rumors are true. Oh my god. The horsemen in the forge lands. The name's Alia, and that's my brother Valis. We are the keepers of this forge. Though I reckon that means less now than once it did. This is a Maker's forge? Nay, the Maker's forge is lost to us. Silenced by the hands of corruption. But in its depths, we once crafted the dark towers of hell and the cities of heaven. Now you make trinkets. <laughs> and you, one of the four, now seek the aid of the makers? I guess we've all fallen from high places. I came here seeking the tree, and your elder speaks of fire. What is it? Aye, the fire of the mountain, the stone father's blood. Why once dwarves always Scottish? Fall, as did the tears. Both imbued our craft with incredible power, the heart and the soul of stone. But corruption has taken them and now our forge is silent. Why does this concern me? The way to the tree is lost, barred by corruption. You can no more leave this place than we. Restore our forge, and the tree can be reached. Indeed. I don't follow your reasoning. We are makers, not warriors. But we are not without our weapons. Before the forge was lost, we crafted a mighty creature of soul and stone. A colossus to fight this corruption. But to awaken him requires a maker's, a maker's key. key. And we